I'm pretty competitive. If I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna try to do to my best ability and I'm in it to win. I'm pretty determined and I'm really competitive, so that will prove me good. Prove me what? Okay, so far, so competitive. I bet Rachel has an original take on... I think I just really want to win. Oh, well... I'm not even like, oh, I'd love to do anything with animals or I'd love to do something with this. Like, I just I just want to go and try and win. What about you, Ashling? In it to win it? Super competitive? No prizes for second place? I will try. I, I will put 100% effort into it, but I don't know whether it'll always work out that way. That's the spirit. As the mentors await the new arrivals, it's clear that it's far from the country life that this bunch were reared. I went on the shan. That's country, isn't it? I do know about the country lifestyle because I am a girl guide. Like, I wouldn't know how to put up a tent or start a fire, but I know how to tie a neckerchief. When it comes to, like, gotten and, like, pigs and plucking and that, I will vomit. And the stomachs are doing somersaults right now as the recruits are given the old stare down as they go face to face with the mentors for the very first time. <laughs> Good morning, recruits. Good morning. Welcome to ICA Boot Camp. Thank you. Now, you've come to On Green on like generations of Irish women before you, to be schooled in skills that are as timeless as they are essential. Tasks will be difficult, but in the spirit of the ICA, we expect you to persevere and work diligently and complete your tasks. At the end of this boot camp, we will choose the one whom we think most embodies the spirit of the ICA and she will go forward to the final to compete for Recruit of the Year. As the recruits settle into their new surroundings, the reality of boot camp hits home. When we got off the bus and we're standing in front of the ladies for the first time, I was actually shaking. I was like, oh God, what have I gotten myself into? I need to get out of here now and get claustrophobic. Are we all unpacking like now? Because I have my life in my bag. I was expecting so many things. And then when I got here, like that's when I really knew like, oh my God, I'm actually here and this is actually serious. We want you downstairs in the yard where you will meet Mary and be given your first task. So without so much as a chance to re-straighten the hair, it's right in at the deep end for the recruits. And judging by that scary smile on Mary's face, this lot are about to get the fright of their lives. Told you. I walked around the corner and saw four pheasants hanging by their throats, dead. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Those dead, disgusting birds are going to be the mentor's dinner tonight. And here's Mary to explain how that's going to happen. I want you to pluck the pheasant. I want you to clean it. I want you then to fillet it and roast it. And you have two hours to do that. They were absolutely shocked. They didn't know what had hit them. But I have to say that they started and uh, they got into the task quite quickly after a few... <gasps> OK, they're dead. Pretend it's just yeah, a yeah. teddy. Yeah. So that's Rachel and Ashling defiling a teddy bear and Sophia getting all the luck, working with scientist Jody, who should be well used to dissecting stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> or maybe okay, not. That was not OK. <laughs> Let me see yours, girls. Oh, come on now. We'll have to get a move on here. Would you do this now and cook yourself for dinner? Yes, of course. Oh, my God. It's a lot better off going to Marks and Swansea to see, like, a 12-euro meal. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> Sawing away at his neck. I feel like a monster. Oh, God. We seen the girls just going for it, so, like, the two of us were like, oh, we're just going to, like, separate our minds from what we're doing, and we just went for it. And speaking of separating your mind... <laughs> He thought it was a souvenir night. Hearing? Yeah. <laughs> when we had to go into the kitchen and like, like cut the head off and take the legs off and got it out, that was disgusting. Jesus. I put my hand in, right? So I got this weird sensation on my hand, but when I pulled it out, like the smell of it, I can't believe I gagged like that. <laughs> my whole stomach just turned. It was like uh, literally out of nowhere. Dangerous looking. <laughs> I wouldn't like to meet you on a dark night with a knife like that. 